Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. It's David Schlotthauer here in the home weather office for Thursday, October 26, 2023. I'm very sorry that I was not able to make a video yesterday. I ended up not feeling well. My stomach really, really painful yesterday, but today I'm feeling a whole lot better. Now, in today's weather forecast, we have some very cold temperatures to talk about with potentially all-time record lows that are anticipated across much of the northern plains and portions of the northern rockies we also have two big snowstorms the one going on right now with another one coming in on friday all the way into the weekend that's going to bring another round of big snow more freezing rain and the potential for more power outages with some severe weather we'll break down all those details right now now looking at the current weather pattern across the united states as of thursday morning here october the 26th 2023 we have some very active weather to talk about right now First of all, we have a big snowstorm, a big winter-like producer over the northern Rockies into Montana. This is already on its way further south. This is going to be the second snowstorm that we're going to be seeing. Actually, this is the first one. We have another one behind that that's just going to really unleash more big snow over the Rockies, even for some portions of the high plains and with some much colder temperatures. We could be looking at some all-time record low temperatures for some locations for late October standards. Across the eastern seaboard, we have a nice big ridge of high pressure that is dominating the forecast and therefore expect temperatures today in the mid to upper 70s, perhaps a few low 80s in the isolated warmest locations with cooler weather and drier weather returning for California and for much of the Intermountain West. We got some active weather down here with some heavy rainfall, flooding, and some severe weather over the next day or so, so get prepared for that. Looking at the latest National Weather Service right now, watches warnings and advisories, and as we can see here, we have winter storm warnings that are already issued for Montana, also for North Dakota, and yes, what you're seeing in Northern California is a hard freeze warning. You don't see that this time of the year very often, and it is in place with temperatures at night into the upper 20s to lower 30s in this portion of California. Nothing for my area, but temperatures this morning were down to 39 degrees. In just a couple of days ago, we were seeing temperatures at night in the 50s and 60s, so big drop in temperatures already being felt here across the West. It's already here in the Northern Plains, and then soon we're going to see it in the Midwest. Looking at the, your global computer models, this is a look at the Euro model for this afternoon, October the 26th, 2023. And we can see here that this system bringing quite a bit of rain, flooding, some severe weather across the Midwest and the Deep South, including for portions of the Great Lakes getting quite a bit of rain. But this is the transition area. You see this colder air up here? There's going to be a lot of snow behind this. And we're talking some blizzard conditions. We're talking a lot of impacts. Winter storm warnings, you name it. Strong winds coming in out of the northwesterly direction to help pull that air southward. So going forward, we can see there is the colder air. It's going to stay here because we have a second system that is going to rapidly develop explosively by this weekend. And look at this, by Saturday early afternoon, October the 28th, we're talking more snowfall for these areas. For South Dakota, if you're in Nebraska, if you're in Northwestern Iowa, Southern Minnesota, talking light to moderate snowfall. Take note of these lines here. These are your ISO lines where the temperature on average is freezing. And yeah, there's a lot of it behind this cold front and that's gonna help drive these temperatures really um, cold southward and look at that system not so strong in terms of severe weather or any big serious rainfall but it's gonna be a lot of cold air and we have another system right here knocking on the door you can see a trough of low pressure it's gonna drop southward and this is again for early next week five days out for monday the 30th of october for Halloween, yeah, your Halloween forecast will be a little different this year. If you are in the Northern Plains, get ready. It's going to be extremely cold. We're talking about very cold temperatures in the Midwest and the High Plains. Mild weather for California, though, because we have that ridge of high pressure that's going to be in place. But some inclement weather here for the eastern seaboard. So if you're doing anything with trick-or-treating, just keep that in mind. Depending on where you're at, 
You could even uh, you could either see some very cold temperatures, really warm temperatures, or mild, I should say. Or you might see some sunny skies or rainy weather or some snow, depending on where you're at. So keep that in mind for your Halloween forecast. We'll be looking at temperatures here in a second. Then we could be seeing a big system developing rapidly by the first day of November for the Northeast. These temperature anomalies are extreme by all means. I'm not joking at all, folks. We're seeing some very cold air that is parked across Montana, Wyoming, portions of the Dakotas. In fact, there are some weather station observations that read temperatures as low, as low as negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit this morning, just telling you all how cold it is and going to stay that way for a little while longer before maybe a heat up gets going by the first week of November. So this look at the euro for the temperature anomalies and the blue colors of purples indicate temperatures that are below average for this time of the year with redder and oranger colors which indicate temperatures that are above average. So by Saturday this cold air is just locked across the west. California, Nevada, the Pacific Northwest including for the northern plains seeing some much colder temperatures, some record low temperatures, some record low daytime highs. Definitely a possibility over the next few days over this area because we're going to see temperatures that are really cold. It's going to stay that way. Look at this. Eventually getting into Texas by Sunday, the 30 to 29th of October. Yeah, see this blue? That is temperatures 20 to 35 degrees below average. The cold weather also being felt in California. But south of that, we have a really mild air mass that is going to keep temperatures about 5 to 15 degrees above average, including for Pennsylvania, for the second to last day of October. It gets even colder on Monday, the 30th of October. Look at these temperature anomalies over Texas. Anywhere between 25 to as much as 30 eight degrees below uh below average almost said below zero it's gonna be cold across montana and the dakotas i mean much of the country here gonna be below average for your 30th of october and this continues all the way into the 31st so a very cold oct or a very cold halloween this year for much of the plains the northern plains including for the northeast and yes, California going to have some rather average temperatures for this time of the year. Not so bad, actually. Going to see over uh, daytime highs in the upper 60s to low 70s, like we should see for this time of the year. But wow, it's going to be really cold for the high plains for Halloween. The cold air moves further east and further south across Florida and the southeast. Going to see temperatures 15 to 20 degrees below average, and that's going to stay with you all through the first week of November. There's a pattern change we could see with more milder temperatures returning for much of the northern plains. Your temperatures today look to be pretty nice depending on where you're at, but not so nice if you're in Montana. Daytime highs today staying in the single digits, only 4 degrees in central Montana today. Yeah, that's really, really cold. Yeah, for a daytime high, you're barely getting above zero degrees. However, if you're further south, though, into the Midwest and the Deep South, you're going to get well above zero today. You're going to have daytime highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s, but it's going to be cooling off a little nicely tonight, depending on where you're at. But if you're in Texas, you're going to have overnight lows still in the low 70s. Look at this for Montana, temperatures in the single digits and negative temperatures, and it's going to get colder than this. Look at uh, the forecast. By the time we go into Sunday, Monday, look at this cold front that is going to be rolling through. Temperatures in the 80s, maybe some low 90s on uh, the southern side of the cold front. But on the other side, temperatures in the 30s and 40s. So a big drop in temperatures to, um, because this is going to be moving further south with time. And look at this. This is really going to envelop. Lot much of the Midwest. Look at these overnight temperatures in Texas, upper 20s to lower 30s. Even that for Louisiana. Also for if you're in Arkansas, if you're in Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, to see a big change in the temperatures by early November. That is going to sum it up for today's U.S. weather forecast for October 26, 2023. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm actually headed south towards Fresno today. Going to go to a wedding. 
I will have a video out tomorrow, depending on how my day is. No, wait, no. Tomorrow I'm too busy. I'm not going to be available. Hopefully on Saturday, I'll do an iPad weather forecast. So I'm going to be using my iPad for that. Yes, even so, I'm away. I will keep you all updated. But this week is very iffy. I'm going to be really busy with my family. So, But otherwise, I should be back on Sunday. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Sunday for another forecast. Otherwise, hopefully, most likely on Monday. But have a rest of awesome rest of your day, you guys. Share, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with you more soon with more weather updates.